Hey, it's Doris with all the books. I just got finished filming my November haul revisit. It wasn't too bad, but it was worse than I expected. So you've probably seen that by now. So no reason to rehash it, but let's figure out what to do about it. Um, Tower of Doom is not looking too bad, but that's not really an accurate depiction right there because a lot of these um, books on my new TBR cart, my repurposed TBR cart, um, need to go back on the Doom Tower. And these are the um, November Dooms, Doomsday books. And I also have, oh, that's, is that a secret? I don't know. I don't think I've shared that with you yet, but you know, obviously you know that I bought more books. <laughs> anyway, let's decide what we're going to do with all these books lurking in my... Oh, look, there's another little pile over there. I wonder what that could be. Anyway, <laughs> anyway let's tidy the towers and bookcases, shall we? So, these... These go back on the Tower of Doom. Didn't get to those. And this one as well. Me and Natalia are going to read that in January maybe. We'll see. And these are all um, Spookathon reads that I didn't get to. And I'm pretty sure that they were on the Tower of Doom as well. But I'm gonna set them down here because they're doing cloak and dagger Christmas. So I'm gonna keep them handy for that. So um, these, uh, was this on the Tower of Doom? I don't remember, do you guys remember? Huh, these are my um, Gone with the Book reads. So I'm going to keep those around. These I want to keep around for the time being. And I do want to read, my, I didn't get to my poems for Victoria yet, and I've been really good about reading a little bit of this every year. So, but these, um, I'm going to put this one here for now until I figure it out. And this one is, um, oh, British Lit's not over there anymore. It's over here somewhere. I don't recall. I've, I've rearranged my, my bookish life. I'll just put it here until I figure it out. So, I think I will put these on the second shelf for the moment. And then figure out the nonfiction because, ha ha. We have 15 and a half pounds of nonfiction to put on this shelf. Okay. All of these gotta go on here. <laughs> huh. This is quite a shelf full. Hmm. How do you guys arrange this business? I think it would do better like this, to be quite honest. Would they? Yeah. Let's try that. should I put these? I think these should go on the second shelf as well so that I don't forget who's who. You know what I mean? Because these have to go on the Tower of Doom. These are the hall revisits from 2017. So they have to go on the Tower of Doom if they don't get read this month. So I'm going to put those on the second shelf as well. Okay, I decided that these two 
go down here for cloak and dagger Christmas possibilities. And then I got the rest up here and I just um, put green post-its on the tower one so that I would remember. So these are my possibilities for nonfiction November thus far. Oh yeah, these were the runoffs for my entire nonfiction, what should I read? video um so this is in third place but Heidi wants to read it next year anyway so that can wait so then I just have these two and this one has gotten like 14 or 15 votes already and this one's gotten quite a few but nowhere near like even half as many so I will try to get to this one this month and maybe this one as well I'm just going to keep them both here in my beautiful TBR cart. And this is where we admit that the TBR took a massive hit this month. <laughs> I called 29 books publicly. <laughs> Spoiler. Spoiler alert behind there. Um, <laughs> I read 11 off my shelves and a couple more. So I read 13, but 11 off my shelves. And then I've unhauled four. So um, I read, what did I say, 11. I brought in 29. I've unhauled four. So 15 from 29 is, oh my goodness. Was that 14, really? Wait, yeah. So, did I say almost 250? I meant a little over 250, or really a little over 260. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> that, which is what I started the year with. Oh my goodness. Good thing we're doing no spin November. That might help us a little bit, a little bit. All right, as you can see, I've got my work cut out for me this month. Better get reading, right? Thanks so much for watching and I will be back soon, bye.